Hey, it's Dr. Nussi here again, and today I am going to give you my top three reasons why it is so important to meal prep when trying to lose weight. That's up next. Okay, so let's talk about the top three reasons why it is important to meal prep. And this is not only for people that are trying to lose weight, but also for people that are trying to maintain their weight. Why is it so important to do meal prep? All right, before we get into it, if you like this type of video, please consider subscribing to this channel so you're updated when I upload new content. And if you like the video as well, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below. Let me know that you like it so I continue to make more videos just like this one. All right, so we're talking about the top three reasons why it is important to meal prep your food. So first let's talk about what meal prep actually is. So meal prep basically means that you are taking or setting aside a block of time during the week, maybe a four hour period of time on a Sunday afternoon or um, you know maybe a couple times a week. A couple times a week you do meal prep. Two hours on a Sunday and then two hours on the evening at the evening on a Wednesday. But anyway, you're setting aside a specific block of time and you're making food for the entire week or for several days in a row anyway. You're making your lunches and you're making your dinners and you're making your snacks. You're making all of your food beforehand and then you separate them up into little containers. You save them and basically what you're doing is you're you're trying to give yourself a preset menu for the entire week or the entire block of time that you're meal prepping for. So why is it so important to do this? Let me give you three reasons why it's basically imperative to do this during a weight loss program and pretty important to do it when you're trying to maintain your weight as well. So here are the three reasons and we're gonna use the whiteboard. So we're talking about meal prep and why you should do, do meal prep. The number one reason, and we're gonna go in order of importance from least important in my opinion to the most important. So the least important but very important is if you meal prep, what you're going to do is you're going to end up saving time. It's going to take you less time. Let's just think about it here. If you set aside a few hours on a Sunday evening to make food throughout the week and then you put those uh, put that food or those meals in containers and you put them in the refrigerator or the freezer so you can pull them out and just stick them in the microwave or just take them and go, that block of time, that two to three hours, is much less than if you come home every evening and you get the ingredients ready and you cook and you put the meal together and then you eat and then you do the dishes and, and get, you know put the leftovers uh, in the refrigerator or whatever and you do that every evening, that's gonna add up to a lot more time, a lot more stress, a lot more of a headache than just making all your food at once, storing it up, already knowing what you're having for the week, already having a menu you set. We've all got really, really busy lives and it's difficult to cram in trying to figure out what we're going to eat on top of everything else that we're trying to do. And a lot of times we get stuck just kind of winging it. So it, definitely meal prep saves a lot of time throughout the week, being prepared. All right, number two. Reason number two that this is important is it makes it more enjoyable. What do I mean by that? So why would meal prepping make it more enjoyable? So this kind of goes back to the it saves time um, point that we made last, and that is that if you figure out what you like, you figure out a recipe that you like, or you figure out a few recipes that you like, and you make a bunch of that, and you kind of portion them out throughout the week, that makes it a lot easier or a lot more enjoyable because you're eating what you like than going into work and not knowing what you're gonna do, so you're kind of scrambling, or you're just eating um, plain chicken on salad with an apple, or, or you know, you're just eating really plain food because it's easier to prepare, it's easier, put, it's easier to put together. I mean, it's really easy to open a can of uh, chicken or a can of tuna, put it on a salad, and then eat an apple, and you do that over and over and over, and you just end up grinding and grinding and grinding, and while that's a healthy way, obviously a low-calorie way of eating, there's much 
much more uh, flavorful. There's uh, delicious recipes that give you the same effect as that type of eating, but it would be much more enjoyable. Obviously, if you're cooking yourself uh, a great stuffed pepper recipe or a chili or this great soup or chicken wings or you know all these different things, but you need to take time to meal prep those to uh, be able to have enough throughout the week so that you are eating in a flavorful and an enjoyable way. Again, one of our key philosophies at our offices is the more you enjoy doing something, especially when it comes to your diet, the easier it's going to be and the longer you're going to do it. This goes back to maintaining weight. Anybody can lose weight. Anybody can just get that number on the scale to go down and grind and grind and grind, but it's tricky and all the research says so. The trick is getting that to stick and the more enjoyable you find it, the easier it's going to be to make it stick. So meal prep makes the whole process process more enjoyable and hopefully then uh, you'd be more likely to stick with it and maintain your weight long term. All right, on to reason number three. What I consider to be the most important reason. Number three is meal prep decreases the chance that you are going to cheat on your diet or stray from whatever diet that you set up. Being prepared is key, and this this holds true for anything. If you're going to go, if you're going to take a test at school, you need to study. If you're um, going to go play a game of football or tennis or any other sport, you're going to practice if you want to be at your best. So preparedness leads to success as well, and I think this is the most important point. So what I mean by this basically is if you prep your food. On a Sunday, again, I'm just using that as the example. If you prep your food and you say, this is what I'm having for lunch, this is what I'm having for dinner, this is what I'm having on Tuesday for lunch and dinner, this is what I'm having on Wednesday for lunch and dinner, and on and on and on, and say, just this is the food that I'm eating. If you already set that menu basically up for the week and you just say, this is the food I'm having, I'm not having anything outside of that, um, I'm not going to snack. I'm, you know, these are the, this is the food that I'm going to be eating that I'm making right now. Then it becomes a lot easier to stick with it and avoid the temptation. Because if you get into the habit of, well, I'm just going to go to work and I'll just figure it out when I get there. We'll just, you know, I'll, I'll be able to go to a healthy restaurant or, you know, I, when I get home, I'll just figure something out. You end up picking things that aren't the best for your particular program or whatever lifestyle um, as far as diet that you're going for. You end up snacking on things that uh, probably wouldn't be appropriate or eating at different restaurants and, and you know the temptation just starts creeping in. So if you can be prepared and you can set a menu, it really mentally helps you stay focused on what you're doing on, on the task at hand and it really keeps you kind of accountable. So that's an easy, easy way to make this more successful as well. And I think point number three is the most important of the three. So those are my top three reasons why you need, need to meal prep. It's very, very important. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, until next time, stay happy, stay healthy. I'll catch everyone in the next video.